10. Parents in the Beloit School District have a lot of questions after a burglar broke into their kids' school over the weekend. WMTV Shana Najawan talked with them today and got a statement from the district. Shana, you originally saw parents posting about this on social media. That's right. Some of them are frustrated with the school. They say they found out about the break-in through social media and two days after it happened. It's pretty quiet calm area. <laughs> Peggy Teeley has lived across from Beloit's Robinson Elementary School for over 40 years without incident. And it's a grade school and um, the kids are pretty, pretty quiet and, <laughs> you know, they're outside playing their kids. Sunday was an exception. The city of Beloit Police Department posted on their Facebook page. They were asking for help identifying a suspect who broke into the school Sunday. Yeah, that's how I found out about it was on Facebook um, on Tuesday. So two days after it happened. Brianna Pan Bauman's kindergartner goes to Robinson Elementary. I'm just staring at my phone like, when was this? She and several other parents say they found out about the incident on Tuesday after their kids went back to school. I saw it from the city of Beloit Police Department, not even from the school. Many of them took to Facebook to express their frustrations. They are hoping for more transparency about what led to Sunday's break-in. And to have social media post it first before you reached out to the families, it's, I don't really have any words for it. We did reach out to the school district for comment and uh, officials forwarded us the message that was sent to families. It said no students or staff were in the building at the time and they're working closely with law enforcement. The district added it's taking the matter seriously and the safety of the school community is top priority. Live in the studio, Shane Zhao and WMTV 15 News.